If you watched television at all during the 60s and 70s, then you recognize this young lady. I don't think it is an exaggeration at all to say that there were literally hundreds of movies and TV shows that Pamela and Ferdin made an appearance in during that time. As such, this video is not even going to try to talk about everything that she was in. Instead, I'll identify a handful of moments on TV and in the movies that were especially memorable for me. And then I'll provide an update regarding what she's up to these days. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, at least when it comes to music, movies, and especially television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. All right, with that said, let's get rolling. The first thing that I remember seeing Pamela in, in was an episode of Family Affair where Buffy loses her dear friend, Mrs. Beasley. And Pamela Lynn plays a neighbor girl who has one that looks awfully similar. Now I've gone on record in a couple of other videos as saying that I think Mrs. Beasley is a pretty darn creepy looking doll. So I won't say anything else about it here. Other than maybe that's why this appearance of Pamela Lynn's was so memorable to me. Pamela Lynn's first movie appearance that I remember actually occurred before Family Affair, but I'm going by the order in which I remember them, so because I didn't see The Reluctant Astronaut until the early 70s during one of those PTA summer matinees where you go with all your friends to a movie theater and see movies that were a few years old. You gotta remember this was before VCRs, so seeing movies this way was a lot of fun and a great way for moms everywhere to get all of the kids out of their hair for a couple of hours. Another great appearance in memory for me was when Pamela Lynn showed up on the original Star Trek series. Apparently she was so smitten by William Shatner that after days and days of her following him around, he decided to propose to her. He asked her to pick the date of their formal engagement, and Pamela Lynn picked the very first day of summer so that she could have as much time with her dashing fiancé as possible. You know, it makes me really happy to hear that Pamela Lynn has nothing but good things to say about Shatner and her time on the Trek set. I think it's also important to mention that even when Pamela Lynn wasn't seen on the screen, she was often heard. She was an accomplished voiceover actress who provided the voice of Lucy during the late 60s and 70s, and she was also the voice of Fern in the animated adaptation of Charlotte's Web. Now, I know that there have been other versions of this classic children's book since the 1973 movie, but this one will always be my favorite. Pamela Lynn was great as the girl who loves Wilbur the pig with all of her heart. And equally wonderful was the legendary Paul Lind providing the voice of Templeton the Rat. Now, like I said, I'm not going to talk about everything that Pamela Lynn has been in. But I've got to mention her starring role in the classic filmation live-action Saturday morning children's program, Space Academy. In this show, Pamela Lynn got the chance to work with another legend, Jonathan Harris, a.k.a. Dr. Smith from Lost in Space. All right, so let's answer the big question now, the whole point of this video. Whatever happened to Pamela Lynn? Where did she go? Is she still making TV and movie appearances? Well, to address all of those questions, let's start with what Pamela Lynn did after high school. It was a complete 180. She made the decision to step away from the entertainment industry and to study and become a nurse. Yep, Pamela Lynn got her nursing degree and spent the next decade or so on the front lines, helping people the best that she could. Pamela Lynn has always been a kind and caring person, and those sentiments are not just for her fellow human beings. You see, over the years, Pamela Lynn has become extremely passionate about our furry friends, especially those animals who find themselves without a home where someone can love and care for them. I think Pamela Lynn is likely comfortable with the term animal activist because that's exactly what she has become. It is extremely rare for her to pass up on an opportunity to discuss the plight of animals that find themselves in shelters or even worse, being experimented on. Last year, Pamela Lynn made a guest appearance on the talk show Ken Boxer Live. It's a really wonderful and fun conversation where Pamela Lynn talks about her past, present, and future. I'll post a link to that video in the description section of this video 
if you'd like to check it out. I will also post a link to Pamela Lynn's official website where you can go and learn about upcoming appearances as well as read thoughtful essays by her. This is a well-maintained site and if you are a fan, you can spend hours here reminiscing. Another place where you can lose total track of time is Pamela Lynn's official Facebook page. I've got to say that this is one of the more active pages that I've been on recently and Pamela Lynn frequently posts pictures as well as her memories from her incredible career. All right, that's it. Do you remember Pamela Lynn Ferdin? If so, what was your favorite TV or movie appearance by her? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you clicked on that little thumbs up icon. And what the heck, why not subscribe to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.